still here in the lobby. Alice? Five zero three two six eight three zero eight seven. All right, thank you. Should I bother this guy? Mm -hmm. okay. I would. Tell me you want to see the sergeant. Hello, sir. I was wondering if you could help me. I was supposed to have a visit with somebody through the online portal, and it's not allowing me to do that. I was hoping that I could have that rescheduled for a um, in-facility video appointment. Right, but the sergeant has the ability to be able to refund when there's, you know, a missed appointment, and I did pay for the visitation, and it's not through any fault of mine. I believe that they're also supposed to be having at least one free visit, aren't they? Yes. Yes, sir. She's also been detained, right? But she has no fees. And I believe that that's against the civil liability, right, for releasing of prisoners if she doesn't have a fee to pay. Right, and there's two willing people, one of which who hasn't had um, any actual criminal, criminal convictions in nine years. Um, and the other one in, well, all charges have been dropped and the other person doesn't have anything currently either. So what is the timeline that one would need to have a clean record? Three years. Wasn't yours three years? Mm-hmm. So. And it was a trespass. So how can we have this resolved if I can't have a video call, which they're entitled to, even if they are in a medical or detaining facility, they're entitled to visitation and phone calls. Sure. He's man. making a priority out of releasing another gentleman first. Miss hmm. Callahan is not in a normal pod, so she's not allowed to have video calls. Hmm. Isn't that interesting how she's not allowed to exercise her right to the same rights as everybody else because she has a mm -hmm. medical need to be released to somebody who's a responsible party? Hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's beyond ridiculous. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Here's a phone. Would you like to borrow a phone? Yes, please. Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. You might ask me which number to call from home. Here you go. <laughs> Congratulations on getting yeah. out.
You're welcome to try again. Okay, can I try text him? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my phone might give me some shit just because I usually use uh, Google Voice, so. Makes you jump through some hoops. Don't stress, we'll be here a minute. <laughs> get detained again, I'm going to find pleasure in the smell of urine in a cop car. Someday get it. You know? Sorry. Ah. Somebody did it. I'm sorry. Um, is there, you guys have transportation? Is there, is there any way if I paid you guys that you could give me a ride? Where are you like going? I could pay you guys good. Where are you going? I need to go to Oregon City. Well, like I could pay you for two to three hundred dollars. Um, he's gonna take me back to Tigard, and I wouldn't mind driving you the rest of the way if you wanted to. Yeah. yeah that'd be awesome. Where are you going, Oregon City? It's um right off of Walker River Road, like right off of Boston. Oh, I know exactly where that's. Uh, yeah. yeah. I I can take you. That'd be awesome. I'll pay you well. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be stuck out in the cold all night. <laughs> no, dude, you you're good. Awesome. We're just uh we're trying to get somebody knapsacked out of here. Um, she's been detained and they, they're wanting a responsible party to sign for her. If you know somebody who's willing to sign for her, man. Yeah. Um, she you know. can't do it because she just got out of jail. They're saying that I got a conviction from 2019 and I had no conviction in 2019. Or arrest. Yeah, yeah. Or arrest. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, so we're just irritating the ever living shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she she did one of those video visits, but they won't let her do it on the phone. Oh, really? They've got her on the medical watch, and so they're not letting her do phone calls, and they're not letting her do phone calls to get somebody to sign her out. So oh, they're just wow. black. They did that to me too. So, hmm. so I'm trying not to let them blackball me. Wow. That's fucking kidnap. <laughs> yeah. It looks like she's got kids too. So. Yeah. Um, Bob, I think they're gonna blackball us until until morning when we can corner the the yeah. other person. Yeah. So the booking wanna, release officer. Do you wanna hit it out or do you wanna sit here? Um I wanna sit forever just because I think it's fucking wrong. Yeah. Is he gonna are we gonna pay attention now? No. No. <laughs> Yeah, they're actually assholes. They're just I know. I was on the medical unit. They kept me there for a couple of reasons, man. They fucking starved me the entire week I was here. They gave me food I was allergic to. They fucking didn't let me have phone calls until after my arraignment. Like, yeah. And part of it is because they didn't read me my fucking Miranda rights, and that was what I was bitching about the whole time here. God damn it, I didn't pay <laughs> That needs to be blooped out, by the way. <laughs> Give it time. It just pisses me off that they're not even going to let her check the kiosk to check a message, to make a phone call, nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's ridiculous. It's also a violation of her rights because she has a right to an hour of exercise a day. They weren't giving it to me. They're not giving it to her. And we were on the same board. They gave her less time than they gave me, and I got 30 minutes a day, mm -hmm. even after they took me off a suicide hold. So they fucking assholes. Yeah. You all right? Hmm? You all right? Yeah. What'd they take you in for if you don't let me ask? Um, for false information to a police officer. No way. Yeah. You're fucking kidding me. No. You're fucking kidding me. Yeah. They gave my brother's name. Oh. How long were you here? I was just here for like less than 48 hours. That they kicked me out. 48 hours. So. They didn't want, um, my, the county that I'm from didn't want to pay to have me transported over there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you got an accounting. You get bills from another accounting. Mm -hmm. They're fucking monsters, man. Well, Clackamas. Well, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, Washington Clackamas. Washington, yeah. There's, there's an uh, show. Uh, I just know the moment that I walk out of here, they're going to think that they've got this, that they don't have to give her any more rights. And, um, oh, no, they don't. No, basically what it is, is they know that, you know, they know that uh, she's a big boy in the hot water right now. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of attention pointed to her, so they're probably not going to fuck with her. Mm -hmm. It says nothing onto this person, this release agreement that you can't have been arrested recently. No, they said that's their policy. Yeah, well, their policy can eat my shorts. Yeah, the policy is not state law. <laughs> Ooh. They're just they're just coming up with policy just to come up with it. Yeah, well, I've already watched them violate her rights. Mm-hmm. First hand. Oh God. I'm sorry, Tara. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Um, so videotape the phone call when I get a hold of that, that. I'm supposed to be getting a phone call from the sergeant. Mm -hmm. I have my calls recorded. One person can send State Oregon. They can also eat my shorts. Hmm. So I called them 16 minutes ago. So let's see how long it takes for them to call back. I'm gonna have to call back. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Take this kid home. Put some bail money down on Tara's butt. But <laughs> 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 Oh my god, I'm not done with these people. Right. I'm gonna have you sit in the back seat. He's gonna sit in the front seat. Uh. Because all my stuff's in the back. <laughs> I know I look skinny, but I'm not that much smaller than him. I know. I know you, I don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. All right. Oof. Yeah, I was not looking forward to spending the night out here. Yeah, no, no, no. They should have given you a bus pass regardless. I know. They didn't? They, no, they didn't even let me make a phone call. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> cunts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I was in there for a week and they didn't let me make a phone call the first two days until after arraignment. Yeah. And then they uh, kept me on the suicide hold watch, basically, even though I was on a... I was off suicide hold. They still only let me out for like 30 days and or 30 minutes, and I had to fight for that. And I had to pick between a shower and my visit. Wow. Um, they didn't fucking feed me, so I'm kind of irate, you know. Yeah. Fucking douchebags. You know, I don't normally disrespect officers, even when they're assholes. But man, right. <laughs> douche city, douche city. Maricopa County, man, uh, making them look good. Making them look good. <laughs> making them look good. <laughs> making our pile, yeah. Our pile look good. Yeah. That's sad, man. That's hard to do. <laughs> our pile is a sad, sadistic motherfucker. Yeah. So is the cook here. Man, the food. Oh, no. Homie. <laughs> I only ate like three bites of the beans and rice the one day, and man, I died. Whew, I suffered. I've never had bad rice and beans before. I don't know how. Somebody had to take lessons in how to fuck up eggs. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the one day they gave us fucking like protein on Sunday, that was uh -huh. bad, man. It was so bad. How do you burn it without actually crisping it?